Squarespace, thanks for sponsoring the video, you absolute mad lads. It's October the 26th today, so literally a week ago, I placed an order for the brand new MacBook Pro with M1 silicon. Your delivery driver will be with you between 12.27 and 1.27. I'm genuinely so excited. <laughs> So I want to be totally transparent as to why I've really done this and to be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be returning the new M1 Mac. Look, okay, let's just say that I don't really need what I've ordered. I've spent £2,600 on this new machine, right? This thing, really no slouch. I don't even get the full potential out of this right here. So Alex, why a new one? I went through a period of my life where I edited a video about my life in 4K every single day on a MacBook exactly like this. Could I do it without it plugged in? Hell no. Which is why I invested in little pieces of tech like this. So when I was out and about, I could throw this in my bag and this would power my laptop. Then when MacBooks switched to USB-C, they had a thing called power delivery, so you could actually charge the MacBook, like this one, over USB-C like I am now. Here's the kicker though, if you don't use the proper charger, even whilst it's plugged in and charging, the battery still goes down. And obviously there's other reasons as well, like I'm hoping to be able to get rid of all of my dongles, for example. I literally have one of these in every room because I always use SD cards. So am I gonna be saying goodbye to all of my dongles today? I'm not sure. Hopefully this video will answer that. Jed's coming round so we can, well, unbox it and film some awesome comparison tests because I've got the M1 Mac Mini in the office as well. I'm so excited for today. Atlas is going mental. I think Jed's here. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> hey mate. Good morning. <laughs> Okay, so Jed arrived a short while ago. We've been sat at the desk, well, the desk, the kitchen table, chatting about work and a few different things like that, planning some tech flow videos about what we're gonna do with this brand new M1 Mac to put it to the test. I have just had the text to say it's arrived at the office. You've been getting a lot of messages. Okay, I've been getting a hell of, hell of messages. What's happened to you and Alex? Why don't you see Alex anymore? Uh, like we've been yeah, in a pandemic. Well, lockdown for a start, pandemic. Also, we definitely don't run another channel together. Literally, <laughs> like, on a, on a weekly basis. Nothing's changed. No. Dot yeah. messaging Jed, we're fine. Jed and I are friends, we still work together, we're still yeah. good mates. <laughs> that little new Apple product that tingle. Apple product tingle. You got your car keys? Yeah. <laughs> Where is it? Is that it? No, that's no, definitely not it. Oh, that's the thing for tech. Oh, it's here, it's here, it's here. Yeah. Oh, look at the size of that. Oh my god. It's definitely a magic shape, isn't it? Should we just take it home? <laughs> Do not drop that, right? I know, this is a bit mental. Isn't it? <laughs> that, that M1 is on the precipice. <laughs> Felt a bit an Italian job where the, uh, the bus is hanging over the edge of the cliff. <laughs> That was so close. <laughs> <laughs> we made it there, we made it. Okay, so we've got to record this bit again because the camera's in friggin' slow motion for the entire time. <laughs> New MacBook here, we need to unbox it. This is insane. I'm not sure on the actual specs of this because I literally ordered it in a pinch because I was aware they were gonna sell out. What's in the box? Oh! It's got shit on it. Get down! Have you still got that somewhere? I think so, I think it's on a water sack. Let's go and find it, I'll put it in the video. What? Okay, okay. There is something about that fresh sort of apple feeling in there. And I'm seeing those new wallpapers on there. I mean, I don't know how, but they make it feel fresh just by putting a new wallpaper on it. 
They could literally repackage the old laptop, put it in a box with a new wallpaper on it, and people would buy it. I'm charging two grand. <laughs> <laughs> so Jed's, Jed's losing his marbles over the one terabyte SSD. We have so many projects on the go for tech firm, whatever else we're doing, that I thought I would get use out of this one terabyte SSD. I've only gone for the 16 gig model. I'm aware that that's low, but I think that Apple's sort of Optimization for RAM is really good, so I'm okay with that. We've got 10 core CPU, 16 core GPU. <laughs> These are literally just glorified iPhones now, aren't they? Yeah, pretty much. That run Mac OS. Talking about optimization as well, Jed's phone, he's literally pointed out, literally has half the gig of memory of RAM that my actual laptop has. His phone. Oh, here we go, here we go. Ooh, okay, that's different. Even the packaging has taken like a thickness turn. It's heavy. It does solid, eh? Pretty oh, look at, oh, look that. at that. Hang on. And these feet as well look different. Yeah, I do like them, actually. They don't look like they're going to fall off like all mine did. Oh, my goodness. This is it. Do you know what I like the most about it? It's giving me, like, old-school, classic 15-inch MacBook vibes, but in a whole new form factor. Like, you've got the MagSafe for a start. Like, you know, like 15 inch retina, do you know what I mean? It's just nice to hold. It really is. It's the right thickness for a laptop. These older ones were just like too thin. Like yeah. that is just, it's like, I like it and I understand what they were doing, but I appreciate the thickness. Let's open it up. Oh. Oh, mate, wow. Mate, you didn't even. <laughs> no, that's just. It just knows, <laughs> mate. It just knows. It's read your mind. Okay, keyboard. Definitely more mush, but I don't agree with the mechanical. That notch. Oh, Christ. The notch. It literally is a glorified iPhone, isn't it? It literally is an iPhone with a big screen. Yeah. Like, this is what this is right now. Let's set it up. Let's get it set up then. This is insane. Okay, so whilst it's migrating from my old MacBook 16 to my new MacBook 16, Jed and I are gonna have a spot of lunch. I'll <laughs> get the stay one, sorry. <laughs> get a bit of flint out. And we're in. The new MacBook is on. And my first thing I want to do is go full brightness. I like this. It's nice. <gasps> oh. And it's 120 hertz. Your favorite thing, isn't it? You can't live without that now. That is so nice. Makes my eyes all don't, the difference. My eyes don't run in 120 hertz. I can't see it. They should have done that about five years ago, though. It is Apple. It is Apple. And, and I'm just... still impressed. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to wrap up this video talking about some sort of final thoughts. I've written some things down here, and as you can see, things I like, things I don't like. The lists are about the same, pretty even. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping this around. I'm gonna get rid of the old one. The pros of this definitely outweigh the cons, but this isn't a machine for everybody. Used to edit my daily vlogs on a Mac using Final Cut, and the reason I was able to do those videos every single day was simply because of Apple's uniformity. They made the OS, and they made the Final Cut software, which allowed me to render videos, like 4K 10 minute videos, in about 10 minutes. Now Apple make Final Cut, and they make the OS, and they make the chip that it all runs on. So now it's just like a supercharged machine if you're using Apple products or Apple apps on this device. The battery life. Honestly, the battery on this thing is insane. It blows me away a little bit, the fact that it can last so long. It's not only that, it's its standby time as well. This thing can sit here with its lid closed for days and it just doesn't lose a percent. You open it up, and it's just straight back on. The way I mean is that as you pick up your iPad, it's just instantly on, right? You pick up your phone, you click the lock button, or you pick it up, and it just instantly wakes up. It's the same thing with this laptop. You open it up, and it's just bam. And this thing could be sat here for like two or three days. You open it up, and it's just bam, straight on. Whereas these Intel-based ones, if they've been sat there for any more than an hour, and you open up the screen, I mean, the key, 
There you go. It just takes a while for it to boot up or load in. You open it and bang, and you really, really feel that day to day using this machine. Google have just released an M1 version of the Chromium app, which I have on here. With that installed, you click on Chrome and it's bang. Whereas you click on Chrome with this and it takes two seconds. Yeah, I'm complaining about two seconds. It sounds really, really silly. However, you notice these things, like I say, day to day as you use this item. The speakers are just insane. They sound like, I can't even describe how good they sound. Got a more pixel dense screen so it's sharper. It uses mini LEDs as well so the blacks are blacker. And it's taller with this notch. Now this is where my first gripe comes in. The notch is a bit of a gimmick. All it really does is make the laptop feel more modern because the screen goes all the way up to the top bezel. It's the same on the side as it is on the top. However, your applications never actually go up here past the notch. Even if I put this Spotify window into full screen, you can see, look, that it just looks like an older MacBook. And then when you put your mouse up here, the notch just appears. Chromium released the M1 version of Google Chrome, right? Which now works absolutely great. But if you don't have apps that are optimized for M1, so for example, an app that I use all the time with my team is Dropbox. Dropbox is not optimized for whatever reason for M1. So therefore, when I'm syncing files, my battery drains on this thing really, really quickly because the app isn't optimized for M1. It's having to run through Rosetta. Talking about things I don't like, HDMI port. I like that it's here, but 60 hertz, really? This is a 2,000 pound minimum machine, right? And it's got a HDMI port on it that's capped at 60 hertz. Really? Almost feels like a little bit of a piss take to me, that. But those are really minor little gribbles that I have with this machine just because of its price point. And that moves me on to the last and final thing that I don't like about this thing, and that's its price. Makes it super, super hard for me to sit here and recommend this thing to people, right? Because a lot of people just simply don't have £2,000 or more to spend on a computer. You've got to be a pro in a pro workspace to warrant buying one of these. And that is why it's called the MacBook Pro, right? So they have obviously the MacBook Air on the Apple website, which is now updated to M1. You can edit like 4K video, even 8K video on that machine. I think people underestimate the power of that MacBook Air and think that they need the Pro. I don't think that's the case at all. One other thing as well, it's also significantly heavier. You can feel it in a backpack compared to this one. It's so much, this is so much lighter than this new one. I don't understand how it's so much heavier. It must be the battery. Anyway, I'm going on for far too long. It's a great laptop and for now, it's only been a week. I'm gonna leave it at that. I love Squarespace. You guys know that. I've made all of my company websites on there. You can see an example of a few of those websites on screen right now. You need a website for anything you do, like business related. It's just good to have one. Squarespace are great because they sort out everything from start to finish. So from the start, it takes care of design. So you choose from one of the thousands of templates that they've got, which are professionally designed, and then you just upload all of your own stuff to it and it just looks great. Obviously you can manipulate it and change it to be how you want it to be. E-commerce built right in. They've also got things like SEO, which if you don't know what that is, basically shows you how your website is gonna appear on search engines like Google. Really useful stuff. So guys, if you would like to save yourself 10% whilst at the same time helping out my channel, then please go to squarespace.com forward slash MarsBar, or just simply use code MarsBarVlogs at checkout. That'll save you 10% off your first Squarespace purchase or domain. My, my.